This video is sponsored by Squarespace. Whether you need a domain, website, or online store, make it with Squarespace. All right, what is going on everyone? Today we are in Los Angeles at my house. It is actually sunny now for the first time in what it feels like weeks. Um, I know I haven't been uploading as consistently as I was. That's just because I've been traveling and working so much. Um, but finally got a free like week, week and a half, so I'm gonna be crushing these videos for you guys. Starting off today though, firstly, we're just gonna be taking my Mamiya and we're gonna be going up to Malibu, shooting some photos, shooting some landscapes you guys loved when we went to Santa Barbara and shot some photos up there. So we're gonna be doing kind of the same thing here today, just gonna kind of do some behind the scenes of like some landscape photos, some photos of my car, some, you know, some nice like detail shots as well. But yeah, we're gonna go out for a nice little sunset ride and should get some cool photos, so let's do it. Okay, so we are bringing, as usual, three film stocks. We got Porsche 160, 400, and 800. I was gonna be shooting with some Fuji 400H as well, but that's not here yet. Unfortunately, it's gonna be here in the next couple days. So we'll probably shoot with that in an upcoming video. But today, we're gonna be sticking with these three. I have about five rolls of film to burn through. We're gonna be starting with 160 just because it's so bright outside still. Sun doesn't set here now until, what, like 8, 15 p.m. in LA. So we're gonna have nice, a nice long amount of time to shoot some cool photos. So let's load some film up and get going. So the last video we did, you guys called me out, which I appreciate for using plastic. So we got the reasonable keep kept here. There's a link in the description if you want to buy one for yourself. Not sponsored, just start saving the planet and using glass instead of plastic.
we have made it to Topanga Canyon out here. It's kind of in the Malibu area of Southern California. Definitely my favorite place within like an hour's drive of my house. I come up here a lot, usually take the Land Cruiser, just come up and take some photos, so that's kind of what we're doing today. We're starting up here, as you've seen, we've taken some pretty beautiful shots already. The light is incredible in the canyon. Around sunset time, we came a little bit early just to get like the nice light seeping into the canyon because it does set so quickly. Uh, but now we're gonna take our time heading back down to Pacific Coast Highway. We're gonna be shooting along the beach for a bit. But yeah, enjoy some nice B-roll, some cool photos, and this beautiful drive back down to the beach. So one thing I kind of like to look for while I'm shooting landscapes, and I think something that is often overlooked, is I just look for like very natural frames in my images, uh, created by nature itself. So like for example, right here, I have really nice foreground to work with. I have this brush kind of right, right here. I have these flowers. I have like a really nice background, light pouring in from the side, and all that creates like a really nice frame for my image naturally. You know, I don't need to add anything into the to the image to get of the frame. You know, and the, the natural framing within nature really helps create like an interesting composition that someone actually wants to look at you know we're not just going to take a random photo of like the sky right here or even like just a dead-on photo of the ocean with nothing in the background um for example like this foreground really provides depth into all the images that i just took and the background as well it just shows like how massive and unique this landscape actually is so that's like my advice to someone who's looking to get into landscape photography definitely look for those natural frames in the images that you're taking because they're out there for everybody So now we're shooting with Portrait 400. We started with 160, but now we're shooting with a bit of shade and sun, especially as we start driving down towards Malibu area. Uh, I want to be able to like rate this bolt at 400, and I can bring it down to even shooting it at 200. So I'll, I'll do a mix of shooting it at box speed, and then also bring it down to 200 to, to get some of that uh, shadow detail in the images. But yeah, favorite film stock. This is the last roll that we're going to be using at 400. And then we'll be switching over probably to Portrait 800 or something like that. Um, but yeah, we're going to be shooting with this nice light on the car. I saw as we were turning around the corner. I always look for these like sun and shade spots, specifically where the sun meets the shade, because that always provides interesting light. You know, uh, you have different rays you can work with. You have the way that the sun also hits, you know, whatever you're shooting. For example, we're shooting my car right now. So all that kind of stuff, uh, where the sun meets the shade is usually where there's interesting light going on. So keep that in mind. Pacific Coast Highway at sunset. There are very few things that are better. Maybe a breakfast burrito here or there. But otherwise, look at this, come on. What are you doing, man? What's up? Why are you, you licking it? <laughs> you have to lick it or else it's literally gonna fall apart. <laughs> Switching the 800 up in her. As you can see, we're really trying to make these cinematic, but like, I literally can't for the life of me make this look good, so bear with us. <laughs>
Matador State Beach. I haven't been here in a long time. I'd say almost a year, probably. Beautiful, though. Lots of people here enjoying the Memorial Day sunset. Grab a couple quick photos. Looks. <laughs> <laughs> Quick pit stop at Zuma Beach. We are shooting on the tripod right now. I just want to get this nice soft light. This is where film, I think, excels above anything else. Just the soft colors in the sky and everything. We're shooting this lifeguard tower. Not normally a scene that I would shoot necessarily, but I saw it on the side of the road. Thought, why not? We have three more shots on this roll. Give it a shot. So that concludes today's adventure. I hope you guys enjoyed that little kind of road trip through Topanga Canyon and Malibu. Those are two places I highly recommend you go check out if you're ever in Southern California. Always a pleasure shooting with the Mamiya 7.2. This camera is just one of my favorites to shoot with, if not my favorite at the moment. Uh, but yeah, I'm super excited to see all these scans. Obviously, you guys have already seen those by now. Hopefully, they turned out okay. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching, guys. Hope we enjoyed this one. I love these kind of like raw little road trip videos that we've been making. So let me know if you guys like those as well. Hopefully, some new videos coming this week. Stay tuned for that and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks again to our sponsor, which is Squarespace, for sponsoring today's episode. If you are looking to create a custom website from scratch without all the coding and hassles that come with it, Squarespace is by far the best option out there to make a beautiful website. They have easy to use templates which make creating a beautiful theme that much easier, 24 seven customer support for all of your questions, and tons of customizable options to really make your website stand out. If you're interested in trying out Squarespace for yourself, go to squarespace.com slash Samuel Elkins to get 10% off your first website or domain purchase. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you guys in the next one.